the Islamic State or ISIS, which is a militant organization that emerged as an offshoot of Al Qaeda in 2014, that took quick control of large parts of Iraq and Syria, raising its black flag in victory and declaring the creation of a caliphate and imposing strict Islamic rule in a statement issued on Sunday claimed they are responsible of the terror attack that took security agencies in Uganda by surprise in a partially remote village of Komamboga, north outskirts of the capital city, Kampala. However, speaking to the media, the director, counterterrorism unit of the Uganda Police Force, AIGP Abbas Biahagawa, has described the ISIS claims as diversionally from the Rio investigations. We don't work with ISIS. And uh, what we are, our investigations are going to look for are the perpetrators of this heinous incident. And therefore, at this moment, I may also not be able to comment about the claims by ISIS. Biahagaba says the force is not being moved by any internal nor foreign claims. Claim reliable? Does it come up with specifics? And why does it come after almost 48 hours to 72 hours? We just wish to assure Ugandans that despite these claims by ISIS uh, into the bomb attacks at Kwata Zone, that is in Komamboga, there is no evidence so far. However, security in Uganda has clustered the terror act as domestic. Uganda has several known terror groups, ranging from ADF, which police is currently investigating in relation to the attack. And establish whether there is any connectivity to any hostile uh, terror groups, domestically or out of the country. No suspect so far has been arrested in connection to the attack, though several guidelines have been issued to the public to encourage vigilancy over terror threats. Landlords are specifically urged to take all necessary precautions to identify their ten tenants and be mindful of any suspicious people on their premises. The terror attack has reawakened the police enforcement on COVID-19 regulations. Territorial commanders are directed to do the needful. We're already seeing an increase in certain behaviors and activities that are in total violation of the COVID-19 health and safety protocols. A number of in individuals, including groups, uh, these days not bothered at all about the threats of COVID. People are becoming more maskless. Meanwhile, Uganda prisons have banned visitors without vaccination certificates to the prison premises. We, are, we have opened the window that you can visit your prisoners on two conditions. That one, you must be vaccinated, but two, you must have a test result showing you are negative in 72 hours. Abdul Nasili Lubwama. Lydia Chomukama for UBC News.